This is a one-stop shop. This baby fixes everything. Anti-inflammatory, that's a great goal. Hi, I'm Holly Morrison. Welcome back to Midwest Meanderings. Well, we've been all over the place with our meanderings, right? Um, we've been on a pretty amazing holistic journey for the last six years. I'm gonna drop in a before picture so you can see where I was six years ago. Obviously, this is not my after, this is my along the way. This is where I am six years in. But what the Lord has dropped on us in the last few months is amazing. So this is going to be a crash course for carnivore. I've heard, do you remember those books back in the day and they would go guitar for dummies? Okay, so this is gonna be, this is gonna be carnivore for dummies, okay? But I would just say it's a jump start. It's how to jump in, get going, and avoid the pitfalls. Let's do this. Let's jump right on in and let me help you be successful on this powerful, deep healing elimination diet. I want you to get your why together. Why are you interested in going carnivore, okay? Ours was to save my daughter's life. We shut down asthma and colitis. My husband is no longer a diabetic. I no longer have chronic pain from 30 years. That our why was to save Mary. What is your why? Why are you doing this? You need to get your why in order. If it's vanity, that's okay. Is that gonna sustain you when you're going through this almost like a fast? Okay, this is a fast where you're eating about 2,500 to 3,000 calories a day. You will have no hunger, but your flesh. Okay, and I'm a Christian. My primary calling is to get the bride of Christ off grid medically. I joked with the Lord when he gave me that last year. And I was like, I'm not off grid medically. Could you start with me? And he is, okay? He's been teaching me things for years. And this, I would say, is the most powerful thing he's taught me since the GSC miracle. If you don't know about GSC, check out my other uh, holistic stuff. Um, I've got uh, Holly's top 20 holistic supplements. I talk a lot about GSC there, so check that out. But this right here, it shuts down all disease. So, okay, let me just jump into the practicals. Also, anti-inflammatory, that's a great goal, okay? That's a great why. Why are you willing to do this? And if you're not, it's cool. Keep studying, keep researching. But I'm telling you, this is a one-stop shop. This baby fixes everything, like everything. I'm gonna try not to bang the table. I am really excited about this. We're heading into our fourth month. And what's happening in our house is basically in our winter, spring has come <laughs> in my husband and I's lives. He's off of three drugs. I am just blown away of our energy. Our sleep needs have plummeted. I only need seven hours a night. It's amazing. Okay, so our why was to heal Mary. Shut down asthma, it worked. <laughs> check out her update and check out our first video. Why are you here? What do you need? I promise you, you landed in the right spot. This was not an accident. Okay, number one, you got your why. Number two, don't do it tomorrow. Let's get you ready. Let's get some things in place. Let's clean out your pantry and your refrigerator. Let's buy some ingredients that are gonna heal. What are the ingredients that are gonna heal your body? Right? Okay, it's carnivore, right? You're like, okay, does that mean I eat like a lion? Um, and if you've heard of it as the lion's diet, that's dead on. There's so many people that have been doing this for better than a decade. Um, Michaela Peterson, I'm gonna put her video down below. Her father's testimony is powerful too. He's a psychologist in Canada. Um, they did a TED talk on her, they never published it. She published it herself. I think it's got about 22 million views. I'm not positive, it's a bunch. Anything over two and it's viral in my opinion. So her story's crazy, she called it the lion's diet. Hers was very transitional, and not everybody jumps in and does triple B and E. Do you know what triple B and E is? Have you ever heard that before? Well, let me break it down. Triple B and the E is beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. I'm holding that because you know, eggs are kind of over here. Um, yes, can you live off of that? Yes. Can you live off of that for the rest of your life? Yes. What happens to your blood work? Are you going to die? Is this gonna cause cardiovascular disease? <laughs> no, it's gonna heal everything that's wrong in your body. I mean, everything. How do I know that? 
I'm only almost four months in and it's reversed everything for me. I'm down 40 pounds. Keith's down 35. The girls, I don't think they're going to lose anymore because they didn't have as much to lose as we did. I mean, it's shut down all inflammation. It's shut down everything. Okay, so triple B and E. That's what you're going to eat. Beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. You can skip the bacon. I don't do bacon as much as I would like to. It's a processed meat. I get uncured, antibiotic-free, hormone-free, but that is not, if that's not something you can afford, you might want to skip processed meats. But beef, I can't afford beef. Go shop at Aldi's. Yeah, I just bought like 40 pounds of hamburger, one pack at a time for $3.99 a pound. Grass-fed organic. Yeah, you can afford to eat hamburger. Now, am I gonna be bored eating hamburger? Okay, so this is the part, as a believer, I'm telling you, call a fast. Do you know what a fast is? A fast is where you lay down your flesh and you put it down and then you put your eyes on the Lord. Every time you crave that thing that you've decided to put down, you turn your eyes to the Lord. So if you can't cope, you cry out to the one who is able to do everything, everything. He can help you with anything he calls you to do. So call a fast. I am fasting carbs. I'm fasting sugar. I'm fasting junk. And I'm going to eat B, 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 and E. Triple B and E. I'm serious. Let me put some pictures up here. These are the ones we eat 95% of the time. Now, we've got some other things we're doing, and we've got a couple more videos that will be going up next week on how to make crispy wings. They're amazing. And bone broth while you're at it. Um, how to eat steak if you want for almost the price of hamburger. We love steak. We didn't eat it the first month because we couldn't afford it. So I got some tricks on that. That'll be a future video. So stick around, but let's get you focused. Triple B and E. So you don't eat three meals a day. If you want to eat three meals a day, please eat three meals a day, but you will not be hungry at all. You will be so nourished and satisfied. Your body is starving, people. If you are a vegetarian or a vegan, you're starving. <laughs> if you're eating the standard American diet, you're starving. Um, I was doing pro-metabolic, I was starving. Pro-metabolic is pretty healthy, but I was still eating a ton of carbs and anti-nutrients through vegetables. So what's wrong with vegetables? I like vegetables, okay? We're like friends. Um, I love fruit. Tell, let me tell you, let me just have a little pause here. Let me tell you what fruit is capable of doing. I had non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Now I say had, because I just had labs run yesterday, but I had all my markers in the natural shutting down from metabolic syndrome. And I know this is like your jump start. This is your practical, how do I do this? But I still got to give you a little bit of goodness along the way. So mine is gone. I know it's gone. I can feel it. Like even the inflammation that I used to have on my, on my liver side over here, it's already decreased. My skin tags, if you got skin tags, you have metabolic syndrome. You have insulin resistance. You most likely have fatty liver disease. Now, don't freak out, you're not gonna die. You land it in a good spot. <laughs> you can make ice cream, okay? Check out that video. You could eat ice cream, it tastes amazing. You're going to be so satisfied, but just wait. When you get on the other side of that transitional time, your energy is going to be intoxicating. Like, I have all day energy. I sleep seven hours a night. I don't sleep seven and a half. I sleep seven. I used to sleep nine to 11 hours, 11 in the winter, nine-ish in the spring and summer. That's just how my body is. And I suspect in the winter I might sleep eight, but my energy is all day long. Y'all, I'm headed to 60. I feel amazing. Okay, triple B and E. I know you keep going. Now, what exactly am I gonna eat? <laughs> so my mentor, Becky Getz, Dr. Becky and Dr. Allen, they're in their ninth month, ninth month. Now they're the ones that turned us on to this. They were 25 year veteran vegetarians. Guess what they're eating nine months in still? They're eating eggs and bacon for their first meal, their breakfast, lunch, and their second meal, they're eating a burger and bacon. Nine months in. Now they change it up a little. Some people just don't care. They don't need a bunch of variety. That's not Holly. So stick around. I've got tips and tricks not to be bored. But like I said, call the fast, jump in, but don't jump in tomorrow. There's a few things you need to know. Okay, triple B and E, that's number one. Moving on to the third thing. You've got your why. 
Now you've got what you're gonna eat, that's number two. Beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. I'm gonna keep repeating that, because you can't, some people just go, are you, or what else? And I'm like, there is not an and. It's beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. Now beef, anything that's a ruminant meal, a meat, ruminant meat, beef, lamb, bison, goat, those are ruminant. That means they've got multiple stomachs, they ferment their own food, and by the time that meat gets to you, it's cleaner than pigs or chickens. Whatever the pig ate today, if you butchered it tomorrow, that's what you're eating. Just kind of like that. Now, I'm not saying you can't eat those things, but when you're in your healing phase, stick with your beef, your red meats. Venison, by the way, venison's on there. So if you're a hunter, you're in good shape. Okay, so triple B&E, that was number two. Oh, there's a dude. Oh my gosh, this is an incredible video. I'm gonna put a little clip here. You will not believe his before and after. It's a special day. Today is six months to the day since I renounced my plant munching past in favor of eating all the meat I could get my hands on. This is what happened. And I achieved this monstrous transformation, eating virtually nothing but beef for the last six months. And I have never been so satisfied in my entire life. Okay, so the third thing, and I kind of mentioned it, but you want to get your pantry and your kitchen ready. And you want to get a few things in-house that you need. Now, I can recommend what I am currently doing. I can tell you what I did in the beginning, and it took me a minute to tweak it and get it right. Some people are like, I'm ready to do this today. That's exactly what we did. So I did pickle juice and lemon juice to make sure I was handling my electrolytes good initially, because that's what I had in the house. So let me help you with that. But electrolytes, your pantry, get things in order. Buy what you need, get things aligned. Yes, you can jump in, yes, you can compensate, but what's happening when you're getting fat adapted, it's where your body is going kind of into ketosis, like, you're not gonna be carb free doing this because there's carbs in meat. I don't know how many, I haven't like checked, but I've heard people say that and I believe them. I'm like, you know, um, but you gotta get your stuff in order. So go to Aldi's, go to Walmart. Um, do you have to do everything organic and grass fed? No. If you have a nine year old and you would like her not to go into puberty early, then you should be doing hormone free and antibiotic free at the minimum. Personally, the minimum I buy is hormone free and antibiotic free, period. That is my minimum. If you're going to Costco, you have no trouble with that. Seriously. If you're going to Aldi's, no trouble with that. They have a never end the any line. Walmart has uh, like good prices. So I'm, it's come a long way. So I would recommend hormone free and antibiotic free. Okay. So stock up your house with what you need. <laughs> I just said it, right? What you need, the meat, the food, the eggs, that's your food. That's what's going to heal you. Their healing is in the fat and the meat. That's what the Lord told me initially. Now, I'm kidding you. Like, I was a Genesis 129 girl. <laughs> and I can remember my first week going, Lord, I don't understand. Thank you. You're healing my baby. She has no longer got asthma. And I kept declaring that ever. That girl has, is, she's awesome. She's so healthy. It's ridiculous. I love it. Thank you, God. That was you. But I could not understand. Like, everybody's like, well, eat your fruit and veggies. <laughs> they heal. And I did vegan. Kid you not, did. Um, I didn't stay with it real long, but about three years. But after about a year, I started declining. But it was an elimination diet. So if you're a vegan and you're here and you're still at this point on here with me, um, it's an elimination diet. Vegan is an elimination diet, but it's not nourishing. Carnivore is an elimination diet, but it's deeply nourishing. The Lord told me that first week, I felt schizophrenic. I was like, okay, this is such a paradigm shift. I don't know what to do with this. And I kept telling my friends this, and I kept telling Becky this, and I kept telling the Lord this. And I'm like, help me, Lord. I don't know what, I don't know how to grasp this. And this is the two things he told me, not on the same day. The first thing he told me is the healing is in the, in the meat and the fat. And he said, 
it's you're healing right now. You're in a healing stage. He said, stay there. He said, don't worry about where you're gonna be next year or where you're gonna be in six months. He said, where you're gonna land long term may not very well be where you are right now, but right now you're healing. Yeah, so the second thing of course is he told me that where you land long term will be different than where you are right now. So like, I felt like he just kind of comforted my heart because I was like, never eat another blueberry the rest of my life. I love blueberries, I love fruit. And I think I mentioned fatty liver disease a bit back. Did I mention that I've had it for 10 years? I don't, I do that, it's the non-alcohol, I don't drink alcohol. Um, and in the last three and a half years, I've done hardly any bad carbs. I've done mostly fruit carbs. And all my markers kept going up. All my inflammatory markers were off the chain. And I'm not talking I'm eating 10 servings of fruit a day. So my holistic doctor, who's since retired, she took the, yeah, I wish she wouldn't have, but she had to or she wouldn't have been able to keep her license. So anyway, she retired at the age of 60. That was a little young. All right, that one was a freebie. Okay, so anyway, she kept saying, well, go with the low carb fruit. So I started eliminating the high carb fruit and started doing the low carb fruit. And things kind of improved, but they still didn't. So I'm just telling you, you can eat clean, you can eat organic, you can eat healthy and still have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Now they call it fatty liver because your liver is covered in fat, but guess what causes it? Carbs, that's it. It's not fat, fat heals it carbs caused it so don't check out on me stick with me okay so getting your pantry ready let me get back to that number three so you're gonna need some electrolytes the reason you need it is when you get fat adapted your body's making that adjustment and transition and it's going from taking its energy from carbs which are not an essential food okay proteins are essential fats are essential carbs are not I promise your body's gonna take that fat and it's gonna convert it to energy Okay, so you need a few electrolytes. You can get them through pickle juice if you want. You can eat some pickles if you want. You can get some lemons and add it to your water. I just buy um, potassium glycinate. It's so cheap. You buy a bottle, that'll probably last you six months. Now, there are people out there selling great products that taste great. Um, Element is one of them. No, I, this video is not sponsored by Element. <laughs> but I think every other carnivore video might possibly be. Um, Dr. Berg's has a great electrolyte supplement. His is the one I like the most. My girlfriend, Celeste, she's the one that turned me on to that. I used that for several months and then I was like, I keep forgetting to mix it in and I'm putting it in stuff and then I'm like, oh, I'm kind of tired of this and I'm like, oh, I don't even think I need it as much. And I, once you get past that first month, you hardly need it. So I use that probably for about four weeks and then I just thought, I'm just gonna get a bottle of of, of potassium glycinate and I just read the label of all the electrolytes to see what was in them and I thought what the heck I'll just get some magnesium glycinate I will put a link beneath the video of the one I use cheap super cheap pop that baby daily in the beginning and then after a while you forget to take it because you don't need it now one of the ways you know you need it is because you might have some cramps in your legs as you're transitioning, you know how like you go outside and you sweat a lot and you haven't had any pickles or bananas or all those things that are you're told that are rich in potassium. Oh, guess what? Guess what the high one of the highest potassium rich foods there is? <laughs> um, coconut water is too, by the way. Beef. Beef is super high. One serving of beef has like 475 milligrams of potassium. That's four ounces. That's not eight ounces. So you're not going on a potassium, low potassium diet. You're just making a transition to eating this way to eating this way. And in, your, in that transition, your body is gonna be asking for some more nutrients. So do it, and you can do it through some produce if you want. This is not a religious thing, okay? I can remember when I was vegan, and I would like, oh, I ate, I ate some eggs this weekend. And they were like, oh, you ate an egg. And I was like, oh my gosh, you could just tell this was like a religion or a cult for some people. And I was like, yeah, I did. I ate some salmon last week. <laughs> so I, I've been a rule breaker all my life. So uh, if I think it's a ridiculous rule. So, you know, get your potassium any way you want. If you want it simple, check out the link below. Um, now, beyond that, you need good salt. Um, I use Redmond's. I've used Redmond salt for years. It's clean, they test it, it's great. Um, 
full of minerals, full of good stuff. It's really food. Like it literally, your body will go, oh, thank you for giving me that. Salt your food to taste. Initially, as you're making that fat adapted transition, you might find you just need more salt and more uh, potassium. I found after a month, just I hardly salt anything. Personally, my husband's always like boom, boom. But I don't, I don't find I need any of it, hardly at all anymore. And that is pretty typical for people that are long-termers. I'm not even long-term and I'm already good. So that's really encouraging, right? And it's summer, I'm going outside and sweating and doing some gardening and working with my chickens. Number four, clean out your pantry. Clean out your free, free fridge, clean out your freezer. Um, if it's stuff that's really tempting to you, get it out of your house. If it's stuff that you wanna fix for a holiday later and give it to somebody, I don't know. Do what you need to do. Because <laughs> if it's a temptation, it probably doesn't need to be in your house. Now, when I mean temptation, I'm talking about carbs. Because right, people are like completely addicted to carbs. Um, but get everything out that's gonna be a temptation because you really, you're wanting to heal, right? That's why you're here. This is what you want. You want to heal and you wanna heal fast. So this is the way to heal fast. Um, but once it's all cleaned out, then fill it up with what you need. So what's wrong with fruit and veg? Okay, so I already told you kind of what's wrong with fruit. I don't think fruit's gonna kill you. I think if you live off of bananas and potatoes, yeah, you might. <laughs> you're definitely gonna have diabetes. Um, but low toxic fruit, pretty much all fruit are low toxic, but the carbs can be really destructive in your body. So I am saying no carbs. <laughs> there are low toxic veg and low oxalic load food that you can add back in. But if you're metabolically sound, you don't even need to be here. You can just move on and say goodbye, Holly. But if you're not metabolically sound, then listen because this will heal your body. So ditch it all, all of it, I'm telling you, and you will heal, you will heal. Um, and if you don't need to heal, then you probably haven't gotten this far in the video. So if you do wanna heal, let's get rid of all of it for now. And we'll talk about that in another video, how you can, because when I mean elimination diet, you're eliminating everything that's gonna trigger inflammation. You're eliminating everything that's causing disease. Now, let me tell you a little bit about veg. We talked about fruit. What's going on with the veg? I've been hearing about this for about 15 years. I kind of put my fingers in my ears and I went, la, 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 I'm not hearing you. But there's anti-nutrients in, in veg. There's a lot of them. I don't mean one or two or three, but I've been taking supplements ever since I started taking supplements every time ever since I tried to get my body healed I've been taking this many supplements I hardly take any supplements now the reason being is first of all the food I'm eating is very deeply nourishing but second of all I'm not eating anything that's coming in and stealing my nutrients that's what an anti-nutrient is it comes in and binds up your minerals it comes in and binds up your vitamin C you don't need a thousand milligrams or 500 milligrams of vitamin C every day if you're not eating food that's coming and stealing it out of you. Now, if you cook it, maybe not so much, but if you're eating it raw, yeah. And I've heard this for a while. I've gotten away from spinach many years ago, gotten away from kale a few years after that, gotten away from beet greens a little bit after that. Herbs are kind of in the low toxic, the low ox oxalic load. Um, so that's pretty much the only green I've been eating really regularly. Okay, so what's gonna happen when you start eating this way? You might find your digestion's a little sluggish. You're probably going, well, am I ever gonna go to the bathroom again? You will. Most people, that first week as they're making that transition to getting fat adapted, um, they can have some loose stools. They kind of jokingly say, never trust passing gas. The cool thing is that when you get on the other side of being fat adapted, you don't pass gas anymore and you don't belch anymore. How about that one? My husband thought that was the most entertaining thing he could ever do and now he doesn't do it at all and he's really kind of bummed over it. <laughs> so if you're a guy's guy, you get this. If you are not, you're probably going, that's repulsive. So he is pretty crazy, but he can't do that anymore because he does not have any more indigestion issues whatsoever. Now, not that, not that the guy was eating salads all the time, trust me. He is so happy that he's not eating salads anymore. Okay, so Digestion's gonna be a little hokey the first week or so, meaning you might have some loose stools. Some people have constipation, that would have been me. 
Um, got all that worked out. Um, there's supplements you can take to help with that. Magnesium citrate is the number one recommended for helping with that. And that's more of a transitional thing. That's not a, it's gonna be like this for everything. Uh, most people have loose stools that first week, and that's because you're getting fat adapted. So you're adding fat into your diet, maybe way more than what you've ever done. Um, and your body's like, wow, I'm not sure what to do with all that. Now, there are people that go, well, I don't have a gallbladder, or I have a bad gallbladder. Well, I remember feeling pretty fearful in the very beginning because I've never tolerated high fat meals. Um, and I remember talking to Dr. Becky and Dr. Allen, and I'm saying, what am I gonna do? And she said, Al, which is Dr. Allen, the real doctor, Becky's the, the indoctrinated one because she heals people. She's always helping people heal. But Allen, Dr. Allen said that your gallbladder will wake up. And I was like, oh, I hope so, because I don't want to like have a gallbladder attack and end up in the hospital. So what do you think happened day five? My gallbladder quit hurting altogether. Now, what did I do in the meantime? All the usual things that I normally do with my gallbladder is acting moody. I do apple cider vinegar capsules. I do some lemon water. Occasionally I'll do an apple. Um, and even in the beginning when I was carnivore, I did all those things. Are any of those carnivore? Nope. Did I do them? Yep. Would I recommend them to you? Yes. <laughs> um, people that do not have gallbladders, there's some supplements you can take. Um, Dr. Berry, there's a lot of doctors out there that are talking about this to help you just put in Dr. Berry and what you need. He's like a walking encyclopedia for healing to do a carnivore. Um, Dr. Shafee too, but I would say Dr. Berry has just got lots of content out there. So you'll find anything you need out there on recommendations. Dr. Berg is another one that I think is fantastic. Um, he's got a gallbladder supplement that you can take that has um, ox bile in it, salts, and choline. It's got a few other things in there, but that's super helpful for people that are having some problems with getting fat adapted and having struggles. So I don't wanna be the one to tell you when you know it's that, because your body's gonna be different. So you've gotta troubleshoot, you gotta jump in and do a few things yourself, okay? I'll help you with everything I can. Now, let's see, what else do you need to know? Study, learn, watch people that are doing this and that are five to 10 years in. And okay, let me see. Carnivore for dummies, what's the thing that everybody's panicking about? <gasps> what about heart disease? Okay, so check out my first video on carnivore. That's all a lie. Fat does not cause heart disease, carbs cause heart disease. So don't worry about your labs. Your labs are gonna be great. Your triglycerides are gonna drop. Your HDL is gonna go up. Those are the only two that matter. They, they're all like, oh, but what about the LDL? The LDL is heart protective and anti-cancer. So if you make the LDL go down, then what are you doing, right? Okay, so Dr. Um, Ali, oh, what's his first name? Nadir, Nadir Ali. He like goes over tons of research to explain all that. There's lots of content out there for you to learn. But I want the practicals to be handled. Okay, so that's where you're at. That's what you're gonna do. Now, when is my energy gonna get better? Um, not, not the first week. Um, when did yours get better? My energy started to improve week four. My husband started improving week three. It's not fair, his, all his stuff is easier than mine. Um, my sleep started improving after two months, not before. Now I would go to sleep sound, but I wouldn't, I, I didn't, my need for sleep didn't decrease. But going to sleep and sleeping soundly, that improved, I would say within two weeks. Um, digestion stuff, you know, that is just, it's very specific to each person. So some people take two weeks, some people take three, some people take six. Um, and then there's some other obstacles that you may hear hit down the road, but none of them are big, you know, like just keep focusing on nourishing your body. And they have something called OMAD or too bad. OMAD is one meal a day. A lot of men do good with that. Women never do well with that. Um, too bad just means two meals a day. Eat what you, if you're hungry, eat. Just always eat real food. Whether you're eating three meals a day, two meals a day, or one meal a day, it matters not. Just make sure you're eating enough. If you're eating 1,000 calories, you're not eating enough. If you're eating 2,000 calories, you're getting close. Don't count calories. I'm just telling you, you can't really overeat with this. You're healing. And don't watch the scales. Oh, that was another thing I wanted to bring up. Don't watch the, the scales. A pound of fat and a pound of lean um, body mass, they're different. 
the scales are not going to tell you that you're gaining muscle. You know what I'm saying? Because muscle, did I do that wrong? Muscle weighs more than fat. Fat is bigger. So a pound of fat, a pound of muscle, but it's just like your inches are going to shrink. So if you want to watch something weekly or daily, measure. Get a measuring tape out and measure, measure your waist, measure your hips, measure your thighs, measure your arms, measure your neck. You can measure your neck and know whether you're at high risk for things. Can you imagine that? There's like measurements online. You can look that up. Okay, so I feel like I've kind of saturated y'all. I think that you should watch and study people that have been doing this for a while. Kelly Hogan is one of them. I definitely want you to watch uh, Michaela Peterson's um, video. I'll put that down below. That's her top one. Um, Kelly Hogan's amazing. And for all the women that are watching, like I'm giving you some women ones. <laughs> Because our stuff and our needs are different than guys, just being honest. Um, but you need the fat for energy. So let me, let me just emphasize that. I know it's a little all over the place, but like make sure you're getting enough fat in. So if you're eating, you know, a lean cut of meat just because that's what you bought, then put some butter on it or cook it in some fat. But just don't go lean because it's the fat that en ends up converting to your energy. All right, let me think. Is there anything else I can tell you? I'm gonna put those few videos down below that I've mentioned along the way. Um, and I will put a video out eventually, on, you know, after you've gotten through your first month, what next, you know? Because, um, and the troubleshooting stuff, I've kind of already hit all that. You know, like with the, with the loose stools, just pull back on your fat. If you're having a little bit too much, just pull back on your fat until your body gets adjusted. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Just don't expect to feel like a million dollars after two days. In the beginning, you're just trying to get there, right? You're just trying to get adjusted. Um, but I, and people are going to go, okay, can I have coffee? Yes, I drink coffee for two and a half months. Yes, I'm off of coffee. If you saw my update, you'll see that I'm off of coffee. But beyond that, like you just, you know, don't beat yourself up. Like jump in, do your best. And some people need to do this transitionally. Some people need to do it cold turkey. You get to choose what you're going to do. I would pray and ask the Lord to help you and ask the Lord to lead you because if you do this the way I'm saying you should do it, maybe that's not what you need to do. We had to jump in because we were saving Mary's life. Um, and I didn't, I didn't even expect that to happen. I didn't expect that breakthrough. You know when you pray and you pray and you pray? We've been praying for years for her asthma to be healed. But when you hit that desperate place and you tell God, I don't care what you ask me to do, I'll do it. And then he whispers the answer moments later. That's a dangerous prayer. Like, not in a bad way. It's, it's in a way that brings the shift and brings the breakthrough. So, yeah, I think that's all I got to say. I feel like this kind of went a little long. Um, I've talked to people, countless people, and helping them jump into this over the last few months, and they're all doing fantastic. I haven't seen one person that's not had breakthrough in their sleep, in their weight, in their digestion, in their energy. I'm excited for you. So thank you for dropping in. And please, if you want to help our channel grow, share our content. Hit subscribe if you haven't done that yet. Uh, notification bell is great too because we're going to be putting out stuff regularly. And if you want to you know, see what we're putting out, you know, that notification means you'll get a notification. Um, we do have a website. I'll put a link for that down below. We also have a generic affiliate link. That basically just means if you lead into Amazon through that link for the 24 hours after you touch that link, um, we get credit for your order at no cost to you. Um, those are all things you can do to help our channel grow and help us help others. Getting the bride of Christ off-grid medically, that's why I'm here. And myself, right? I want to be off-grid medically. So stick around. Keep checking back because we're going to keep putting out good top content. Now, of course, we're putting out good content, right? Um, we're going to put out some practical stuff, though. Like, what are we eating in our house? Now, after your first month, we started adding in pork and we started adding in chicken. So I'm going to put some videos out of things that we're eating. Uh, one of our favorites is how to make, uh, we're going to put a video on how to make chicken wings. They'll be oven fried, but they'll be so crispy, you'll go crunch. Um, and you get to make bone broth while you're at it. So that'll be a video that'll come out next week. Um, but definitely check out our carnivore playlist. I'll put a link for that down below. And thanks for coming in. I bless you. And I just release the Lord's healing over you and your household. Thank you for dropping in and God bless you.